year that's dealt out loss of business and loss of staff, local restaurants are staring down their latest challenge. Yeah, pounds and pounds of food meant to be cooked, served, and sold is now in the trash. KETV Newswatch 7's Emily Tenser has more on the impact of these wide-scale outages. When Friday's storm caused nearly 200,000 outages across the city, restaurants rushed to save their food from spoiling. Kind of panicked because I've been through it before. And the last time we lost power, man, we lost everything. And I was like, well, I can't do that again. Lewayne Nokai owns Wayne's New School Barbecue at 49th and Center. He tried to save all the meat, but ended up having to toss it. It sucks being a, a smaller business because, you know, those things have a bigger impact on us. Power came back in time for them to reopen Monday. <laughs> But he says it was a hefty cost to restock the fridge. So yeah, this is what we went out and bought today, just tons of ribs and some briskets. Prices on meat now in the last four or five months have doubled. So that was one of the bigger costs too, you know, rebuying meat. While restaurants like Wayne's are already back to serving customers again, other businesses like Moran's Grill here in Papillion have gone days without power. So we've been trying to save some food, but there's a lot we had to throw away. As of Monday night, owner Andrea Moran says the lights are still off. They've even been sleeping overnight at the grill, keeping watch over these two generators, praying the food stays fresh. It's to the point if we can't open by tomorrow, we're just going to have to throw everything away. She hopes insurance can help cover some of the costs and she hurts for their staff who haven't been able to work. But she's confident their customers will have their back once the lights are back on. It makes it all worthwhile and all the long hours knowing that we'll be seeing them hopefully here in a couple days. Emily Tenser, KTV Newswatch 7.